Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about bug life cycle interview questions as well as with the answer that I am going to discuss in this video. Let's talk about uh, around 10 interview questions related to bug life cycle. The first interview question would be, what is all about bug life cycle? What is all about bug life cycle? The bug life cycle Basically, it describes the overall stages of a defect which goes through from identifying the defect which is from detection to the closure of the defect that is the overall life cycle of a defect. The overall uh, different stages of a defect such as new, assigned, open, fixed, retested, verified and it goes to close that is the end of the life cycle of a bug. The next question would be what are the key stages of bug life cycle? What are the key stages of bug life cycle? The first stage would be the bug reported for the first time, which is in the new state. So once the bug is in new state, what happens? It is getting assigned to a developer for the resolution or for fixing it. Once uh, it is assigned, the developer begins to work on the bug, which is in the open status. When developer is working on and uh, when the developer is fixing that issue which is moved into resolved status which will be in the fixed status of the defect and uh, the tester would be checking if the bug is fixed or not that's when the retesting will happen and verified stage where it is getting confirmed that bug is fixed and not reoccurring that is when the defects or bug will be in the verified status and closed status when the bug is the bug is resolved and no longer active that is the closed status and uh, there is one more status which is called as a reopen defects if the fix by the if the fix provided by the developer is failing then the bug or defect will be reopened for the further work so these are the certain uh, stages of a bug life cycle. Now let us understand what is the difference between the new defects as well as open defect. The new defects is nothing but whenever tester reports a bug, it is when it takes a status of new, but it is not been reviewed yet. That is the new status. What is all about open? The developer, the developer acknowledges the bug and they begin to work that is when the bug status would be of open. Now what does the deferred status mean in the bug life cycle or a defect life cycle? The deferred status is nothing but if it is a not a critical, if it is not a critical then they may not be fixing immediately. What they do is they will schedule it for future releases. That is when the market has a deferred for the future releases due to its priority as well as impact uh, to the customer. This is based on the resource availability or any other constraints. That is when we mark the defects as a deferred. And when would the bug marked as a duplicate? The bug is marked as a duplicate when it is already been reported earlier and exists in the system and a different bug ID that those defects we mark it as a duplicate of the bug. What is the difference between rejected and closed status bug? And the closed bug has been fixed, it is retested as well as cons as well as confirmed to be resolved by the tester that is when the bug moves to closed status but in rejected defects when bug is invalid and not considered for as a defect by the development team that is when the rejected defect has been marked as a rejected. The next question would be what happens if the tester finds that the fixed bug is still exit? What we should do as a tester? If bug is uh, still open we are able to reproduce it then what we should do is we should reopen that defect and uh, we should enter additional information as well like uh, what is our further investigation what we are trying to see and that information we have to give to development team so that they can fix those uh, issues 
what is the role of a test place in the bug life cycle that is the next question so here the tester basically reports a bug or a defect and uh, even he does a retest once a bug is been fixed and verifies that issue has been resolved and closes the bug if everything is in order that is the overall uh, role of the tester he plays during the bug life cycle what does the priority and severity affects the bug life cycle the priority is nothing but it determines how soon the bug or defect should be fixed based on the business impact that is all about priority what is all about severity the severity reflects the extent to the which the bug affects the software functionality the high priority means which is very severe bugs are usually addressed first which is very important for the customer because that is impacting the critical functionality that is the severity the priority is again the impact with the business if you are not going to fix the defect that we are going to address as a priority and severity will be identified based on the criticality of the functionality what tools can help to track the bug life cycle what are the tools the answer is there are certain tools like jira bugzilla alm mantis these are the certain tools which we can use to manage the defects or bugs and monitor the status and progress of defects throughout the bug life cycle